Victor Martinez stops by Ironbound Fitness in Newark, New Jersey with a couple of trusted training partners for a leg workout. They start with some stretching and a quick warm up before heading to the back to hit the big weights. As you will see, Victor's training can be brutal, but it's punctuated with lighthearted fun and jokes. Victor never takes himself too seriously, but it doesn't stop him from training intensely and with purpose. Go warm up, did the bike, leg extension, singles, doubles, one more round, ready to start cranking it up. Start with singles. Because of my knee injury, I tend to overcompensate with my stronger leg. So that way I give it a chance to get close to back to where it used to be, which will never happen. <laughs> Just once you injure something, you break something, it never goes back the same. But if you want to get close to it, this is good. Activating the hamstrings because ultimately you do use your hamstrings to get those squats going. Very important. Sometimes I do a full hamstring workout on leg day. Sometimes I separate my hamstring workout. Today's just activating them to help the squat. <sighs> A step the unseasonably warm spring night catches everyone by surprise, and before this workout is over, the heat will become a factor in everyone's exhaustion. Yeah, I used to do a lot of back squats, hack squats, everything, but nothing delivers to your intercostals like the front squats. Get that extra sweep right in the upper quads. For some reason, it's actually better for my back too. That one does not count. <laughs> Cybex definitely made one of the best Smith machines. And the uh, reason why I do front squat Smith well, I don't want to have to worry about balancing the bar. I want to focus the task at hand with squads. That's it. 10, 15 years ago, I was much younger. <laughs> so I'm training smarter these days. <laughs> we bear most of the weight on the leg press and on the uh, vertical press. With the last set, or the last two being working sets here. So we still technically in a way warming up still. No. We'll get there. <laughs> See like the first set of 24, that's not even a set. That's just again, going through the motion, getting your body used to that movement. This is not heavy. <laughs> just because you always your abs are tight when in back squat you let go of your abs a little harder and you guys out there stop wrapping so damn tight from the inside out positions your knees better don't cover those knees all right protecting your tendons. You need to have some little flexion for your knees. The front squat is obnoxious. It's annoying. Very uncomfortable. Most people hate it. But I welcome it because, again, it builds that extra sweep on your quads. Your body, I believe, gets used to certain doing certain movements. That's why you have to have the variety of movements when you're working out a muscle. If you don't see results, check your exercise. You're probably still doing the same exact exercises you were doing since high school. Change up. I always say, guys, you gotta clean 
the nuts and bolts. What is that? The nuts and bolts. All the nuts and bolt juices that accumulate. <laughs> I don't want any part of it. <laughs> any part of it. Then you put your towel. Yeah. <laughs> One, let's go. Five, four, three, two. One. Like doing a couple of wide sets. The teardrop. Again, upper quads. As I go heavier, I increase it. Feet closer. It's the outer quads. And way heavier. I want to get good results. That teardrop. Push with your inner, inner sole. Distributes the weight evenly. And feet. do under the plate, yeah. yeah. Definitely do high reps with legs. I feel my body, my muscles respond better now. Because for me to do low reps and real heavy weight, only doing damage to my tendons. I don't want to do that. Hip flexors, back, knees. I saved them and I bought myself more time. Let me extend that time. A lot of times, doing uh, leg exercises, you tend to overextend your stomach. And uh, unless you have a belt, you don't have that protection. So you can actually hurt yourself, get a hernia. So uh, we usually emphasize, focus on that ab muscle. Um, it's hard, it's difficult. I'm not gonna say I don't forget myself, I do. I just try to. All right, all right. Last one wide. Now y'all seen this workout, seeing all oh, doing more than four sets. Four sets is a basic amount of sets you can do three to four. The rule is, there is no real rule. So I always do about six, seven sets, like I did on the front squat. We'll probably do about six here, seven. It's no number. It's all about the feel. Enough to feel good. So I do a definitely high volume. And my reps are moderate. <laughs> So I usually put my hand here, stop the weight to keep him from wanting to lock his leg because once you lock, that's a resting point. A lot of people do that on the squat, leg press, everything else. They go up and they lock their knees. It's basically like doing the first rep over and over. You're never really climbing up in reps. You're just doing that one rep and it's easier. Let's make it a little harder, right? Don't lock the knees, keep that stimulation, get that pump. What you don't say? Hey, doing legs, it makes me dizzy. Woo. Five, six, seven, one more. Take two off, then. Come on, one, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There, every ten, right? <laughs> Won't feel the pain because you're too focused on the heat. <sighs> Alright, let her rip, Dean. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Go, it's the best time to get it. Let's get it. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Psychologically, if you count up when it gets harder, it gets harder. So you usually want the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> no bucket over here, Ding so. <laughs> No puking bucket here, man. Right down here. It's alright, you only live on the third floor, it's not bad. <laughs> Your butt right where it is, yeah. Right, this handle, back, okay? Let's go. Slow it down, slow it down. There you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, and lock. Nice. It's good, right? All right, vertical press. This exercise, not so, it's a great exercise, a great machine. Again, people think it is for the quads, it is, but it's more for the teardrop, lower quad. For that reason, is because you can't go low enough to hit the upper quads. So remember that when you guys try to go too deep and your butt comes off the floor, if you, you don't, if you don't blow out your back on your first set or the third set, it's coming. You don't want that, all right? So try to keep your ass on that mat. <laughs> yeah, I like doing these nice and slow. <laughs> yeah, do it nice and slow. <laughs> Fuck that, let's just make it a quickie. <laughs> Woo! Now do the first six. Nice negative, one. negative, right? And up. And up. Lactic acid will set in about the fourth rep. By the fifth and sixth, it will likely have settled and the pain will be too excruciating. Forcing you to speed up the reps. <laughs> Come on, D, speed it up. Let's crank it out, six fast. Let's go. See? 
Yeah. 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 You gotta make these workouts fun, you know? You can stress yourself. I ain't big enough. I ain't growing. I'm too focused in the mirror. Come on, you know? Use it as a means of criticizing, seeing yourself, know what you want, know what you want to do. But if you ain't getting the work done here, you can forget about it. All right, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna add one leg extension, right? Yeah. Just to finish, yeah, just to finish. Here's what, legs too. You gotta put so much weight, so much pressure. You gotta keep that weight focused on your upper quads. I know everybody talks about on the bucket, going deep, heavy, down, squat to the floor. Well, those are the same people that I'm sure right now are not doing it because they either have messed up hips, blow out their lower back, or blow out their knees, you know? It's about training right. Can't go low, but low where you're still keeping that pressure on your quads, not sitting on your knees. And at the top, not locking out and doing the hump. You know, you guys like to hump, but there's an exercise for that hump. You know, it's called hip thrust. And you don't want to do it when you're doing squats. You ladies are all going to be crippled doing those humps. You want to hump, you got many places to do it. <laughs> Keep it out of the gym. <laughs> All right, D. Let's go, man. Fuck it. Let's go, man. Let's go for the wheelchair workout. Yeah. Come on. And slow. Nice. Okay, let it rip. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rack it. Nice. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, ten. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you knew Japanese, bro. <laughs> I didn't know. It's lifting delirium. That's what this is called, right? There's so much pain, it's good. <laughs> One, five, two. Come on, come on, let it rip. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go, Dean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, come on. 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 You think you're big time? <laughs> Come on. Come on. The faster you do it, it'll be over. Come on. Come on, come on. Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Huh? Ten. <laughs> I think we're done. Huh? I think we're done. Think so? I'm gonna do one more. You're done, you're done.
Okay, we're actually done, but I can't let Danny do the same amount of sets of me because I'm the pro, so I always got to do one more. Just to show up. <laughs> it's just the thing, you know what I'm saying? So I let him go. I let him go. <laughs> yeah. That's all, folks. <laughs> Let's make this look <laughs> Great draw. Good try, bro. Ooh. All right. We're on, uh, if I count it right, we did probably about 22 sets of legs. Give or take a couple of extra sets. Um, we're here with my friend Danny. Training partner many years, Dean Lewis. And uh, of course, fueled by MHP BCAA energy. And now, the best part. Got my dark matter with me. I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. As you know, it's still not made, no labels. But you see, I wanna sweat blue today. That's right, dark matter, baby. Two scoops on my dark matter, because it's leg day. It was arms, chest, you know, the easy workouts. Usually one scoop is enough for me, but legs, two scoops, back, two scoops. Esto, ice, por favor. Está bien, puede parar ya. I know guys, I know you guys are hardcore. You know, at the shaker cup, you know, just add warm water, shake it, drink it down it. No, add a little finesse to it, all right? I like my ice, I like my water, I like it ice cold, and I like to enjoy it. <laughs> this dog matters for you. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> 